Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary, who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Martha has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. What is the common practice when hosting an important guest? Typically, one would pull out the whole nine yards and make sure everything is perfect. The house is clean from top to bottom, the best food is prepared, and so on and so forth. Because as a host, if anything is not up to standard, then it reflects badly on oneself. So this begs the question. Oftentimes, when we are hosting someone, are we busting our backs in service of the guest or ourselves? In other words, are we pulling out all the stops in order that we can receive all the praise and glory? Please don't get me wrong. It is respectable to have the home presentable and take effort in making preparations when having guests over. But if it is to the point that it is anxiety-provoking, then it is more about oneself than the one who is visiting. And Christ is not concerned about receiving VIP service. All he wants is for us to stop thinking about ourselves, let go of whatever we might be occupied with, and truly and wholeheartedly listen to him. True hospitality involves keeping the guest at the center and not ourselves. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and hospitable day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.